Oh, I look like quite a priss today. Wow. I was going for like a pirate vibe, but I really just look so preppy and prissy. Look at these sleeves. They're so blue. <laughs> but I wouldn't snitch on you. Well, actually, I probably would. That's a great segue into our video today. I love a good personality quiz. I love to think and learn about all the different ways that people think differently than me or have different personalities than me. And I think it's fun to be able to categorize those kinds of things and just talk about them, think about them. So today I'm going to be taking the Myers-Briggs personality test. I believe that's what it's called. The Myers-Briggs personality test is based off of like 16 personality types. Types, I think there's like four categories and then there's four in each of those categories that you could be I pulled it up on my laptop I went to 16personalities.com the first question you enjoy vibrant social settings with lots of people <laughs> very much disagree I do not enjoy social events with lots of people I love people I think people are amazing but I don't particularly love being around a lot of people. I get very anxious. Disagree, like the middle disagree. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Softly agree. I do feel like I let my mind wander a lot and I will even look into things to see how feasible they are. Yeah, I think agree. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Mm. I'm gonna softly disagree. I feel like I'm much more of a planner and yeah, I do have kind of a rough list of ideas of what I want to do, but I also try to make sure that I'm able to get as many of the things I want to get done as possible by planning what's next to each other. I like to be efficient, <laughs> so softly disagree. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. No. I don't think so. Disagree. Your friend is sad about something. Your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. <sighs> I feel like I'm not great in those situations where my friends are sad <laughs> as far as being emotionally available. I feel like I do try to comfort them, but in a way where I am kind of like offering solutions. I'm gonna say strongly disagree. I don't think I emotionally support people like that. People can rarely upset you. Do I get upset easily? I feel like I'm gonna be neutral on this one because I do get upset. I do feel like it's not very often, but I also feel like it's for dumb reasons. So <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the middle. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Strongly agree. I am not good at starting conversations, that's why I am talking to a camera. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Um, no, no I don't think so. Disagree. Soft disagree. You know what, I'm gonna change that last one. I'm gonna soft agree, because I feel like I do try to get back on track to my plans. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. I feel like softly disagree. I feel like everyone wants to make a good impression. I do often think I make a good impression though. So uh, yeah, we're gonna say softly disagree because I don't not think about it. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. Strongly disagree. I would love that. I love being by myself. I love spending multiple days by myself. I never feel bored. I feel like I get so much done and I enjoy my me time. You are more of a detail or oriented than a big picture person. I'm gonna softly agree with that one because I feel like I am very detail oriented, um, but I feel like it always is for the big picture. We're gonna say medium agree. We're gonna say medium agree. Okay. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Like physically? Because no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not physically affectionate with people I care about. I care about people so much. I love people so much. I don't want to touch them, so I don't want them to touch me. We're gonna say strongly disagree. I do not like being hugged. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. Agree. Should I strongly agree? Sh strongly agree. Yeah. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Uh, I feel like soft agree. Like, 
I don't know if I'm bothered by them. We're gonna, we're gonna say neutral. I don't really think, I don't really think that's true or false. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Agreed, agreed. I'm usually not where all the action is. I am usually in the corner petting your cat. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. I guess, yeah, soft agree. I mean, I understand. I think everyone's emotions are valid. I just think I let logic guide me more than my emotions. We'll do agree. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Ugh, disagree. I get so bored doing that. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. I'm gonna say agree. I think I stay calm under a lot of pressure. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Strongly disagree. <laughs> I will not. When you sleep, you, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Agree. I also have a lot of dreams and I remember a lot of them and they're all absolutely crazy. So, um, strongly agree. In your opinion, is it sometimes okay to step on another on others to get ahead in life? In my opinion, it is sometimes okay. The only way I think it is sometimes okay is if that person is a really crappy person. I'm gonna say softly agree. I mean... I don't really feel like I do step on other people to get ahead in life. I also don't, I can't think of a situation where I would. I do think if they were not a great person, then like, who cares? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna say softly agree. I think if someone is trying to step on me to get ahead in life, then yes, I will step on them to get ahead in life. Cause I'm like, you know, I'll treat you how you treat me. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Strongly agree. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. No, disagree. I think I just am human and I make mistakes, um, but I know I'm smart and I know I'm great. Disagree. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Strongly agree. I want to, but uh, I might swallow my tongue if I talk to a new person. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Mm -hmm. I guess lightly disagree. Like, philosophy is okay, but I feel like you can just question everything forever. And at a certain point, it's not um, beneficial. <laughs> Would you never let yourself cry in front of others? Strongly agree. I do not like to cry in front of other people. I will not let that happen. <laughs> you feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than more quiet and intimate ones. We're gonna lightly disagree because I like both, as long as I don't have to talk to people. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. I think a lot about how the world could improve. I really like to theorize how things could be better. Uh, when it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. That one's hard. We'll softly agree. I softly agree with that one. I definitely like to follow my passions and I believe in myself a lot. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. I guess agree, like softly agree. I can't imagine myself doing that. I'm gonna say agree. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. <gasps> I mean, I'm petty, but most of the time I just let karma handle it. The way I like to get revenge is to be better than them. <laughs> so I just like to try to level up as much as I possibly can. We're gonna say neutral because I don't necessarily take actions in getting revenge, but I also don't feel like I forgive that easily either. You often make decisions on a whim. I guess softly agree. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. <laughs> Strongly agree. Strongly agree. Absolutely. I love other people, but I feel like I don't do the things I want to do around other people. Uh, and I only do the things I want to do when I'm by myself. It's kind of sad. I just do dumb shit when I'm by myself. You often put special efforts into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. Uh, disagree. You always know exactly what you want. I feel like I'm kind of indecisive sometimes. I'm not indecisive with like my goals. No, I feel like I'm indecisive. We're gonna do softly disagree. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Softly disagree. I do think about how I could have done things differently sometimes. When in a public place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. Agree. I think I do. Yeah. I just don't like to be crowded too much. You tend to focus on 
on present realities rather than future possibilities. Disagree. I like to be grateful for my present reality, but I think about future possibilities pretty much all the time. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I'm gonna say disagree. I don't think I have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Softly agree. I like to be in charge and I like to make the decisions. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you often wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. Ugh. I'm gonna say agree. When people think highly of me, I feel like it puts me on this like pedestal and I feel a lot of pressure and I'm just scared that I'm not gonna be able to live up to their expectations. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation strongly disagree. You have to approach me. I can't, I cannot do it. My, I'll trip over my own feet. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. I'm gonna say agree. I daydream a lot. You look after yourself first and then others come in second. I'm gonna disagree because I, I put others first a lot and I, I make a lot of my decisions um, around other people. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. Agree. I have a list of things I want to get done that day, but I never have a particular order. Your mood can change very quickly. I'm going to say softly disagree. I feel like my mood doesn't change very quickly. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I don't know that I contemplate it, the meaning of it. I think it's interesting that we exist and there's so many different things that we've been able to create but i don't contemplate the reason behind it i guess we're gonna softly agree you often talk about your own feelings and emotions <laughs> disagree <laughs> you have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future i say i have i think i have about a three-year plan but i never really go past three years so this is several years into the future i'm gonna softly agree you rarely dwell on your regrets <laughs> Softly disagree. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. Agree. Strongly agree. <laughs> you see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. I think a lot of my visions are realistic, so I'm gonna say agree actually. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. Agree. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organize and consistent efforts. Disagree. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Do my emotions control me? I'm gonna say softly disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Oh, strongly disagree. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. I mean, softly agree. I think about how lovely it would be to have different kinds of transportation. I think technology could be built into our infrastructure more, and I think that it could benefit more people that way. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Um, yeah, definitely, I do agree. You still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. I softly disagree. You rarely feel insecure. Softly disagree. Your personality type is architect. I-N-T-J dash A. So my mind, this trait determines how we interact with our environment. I am 93% introverted. <laughs> energy. This trait shows where we direct our mental energy. I am 53% intuitive and 47% observant. Nature. This trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. I am 57% thinking and 43% feeling. Tactics. This trait reflects our approach to work planning and decision making. I am 63% judging and 37% prospecting. Identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. I am 53% assertive and 47% turbulent. So that's it. I am INTJ-A. That is my personality type. Comment down below and let me know what your personality type is. I really love learning about different personality types and categories and categories <laughs> and categories everyone can fit into. I just think it's kind of a fun thing to do. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!